Hydrogen could be one of the key players in changing to green and clean energy. It can be used as a fuel and to store excess energy produced by renewables. Excess energy produced by wind or solar can be used in a process called water electrolysis, where electricity is used to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This green hydrogen produced by renewable sources is then stored to be used in the future to make electricity for cars and houses, biofuel cells. But storage is a challenge because hydrogen is so light and small that it can easily escape into the atmosphere. And because it has a low volumetric energy density, which means you need to store more of it to produce the same amount of energy as other fuels. There are two types of storage, physical and materials-based. In physical storage, you have compressed hydrogen, where hydrogen is stored in pressurized tanks, or liquid hydrogen, where the hydrogen gas is cooled to negative 253 degrees Celsius to form liquid hydrogen that can then be stored. You can also combine the two. But due to how expensive physical storage can be and safety concerns, there is an increased search for safer and more cost-effective materials-based storage. Materials-based storage are solids or liquids that can absorb hydrogen chemically or physically. For example, alkali and alkaline earth metal hydrides absorb hydrogen by forming ionic bonds, liquid hydrides via covalent bonds, and carbon-based materials by physical interactions. Though every material might behave differently, these materials can store the same or even more energy than just hydrogen. For example, an ammonia tank of 50 litres contains 2.5 times more energy than a hydrogen tank of the same volume. Catalyst and heat are usually needed to release the hydrogen stored in these materials. In the end, different applications might need different types of storage. Figuring out which storage strategies would be the most efficient and affordable could bring hydrogen into the renewable energy stage. To see how emerging trends in green hydrogen can fuel your research, visit cas.org insights.